Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on Feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along Push myself to be the best, die with no regrets Live with every breath, see my message start to spread And I had so many dreams, when you hit your teens Life ain't really what it seems, try to find out what it means Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow Till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's I just wanna keep moving Yeah, I put out all this art It's my only medicine Yeah, everything I do I'm just being genuine Yeah, I'm sick of being screwed Feel my own adrenaline Yeah, I do just what I do And I hope you let me in Let me in, yeah I want the real stuff, everybody listen up Cause I'll only say it once I'm gonna show you all the path If you want it bad I'm gonna show you where it's at Yeah, how you can get it back Yeah, cause I ain't never done I'll be number one Working hella hard until I get just what I want Yeah, rise just like the sun Yeah, fatal like a gun Shooter's gonna shoot and I'm gonna shoot until I fall Yeah, let's do it on my own So I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Yeah, I put out all this art, it's my only medicine Yeah, everything I do, I'm just being genuine Yeah, I'm sick of being screwed, feel my own adrenaline Yeah, I do just what I do, and I hope you let me in, let me in, yeah Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, it is going to be very different from the content that I usually bring you here on my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my weight loss journey and how I lost 85 pounds and how I've kept it off for almost going 10 years now. So if you looked at the thumbnail, you were interested in how I lost 85 pounds. Now this is very different from the content that I bring here on my channel. I am super nervous to be making this video right now because it's not just a Dollar Tree haul with me showing you products or a couponing haul showing you how to save money. This is my life and I'm being very vulnerable right now and putting this out here for y'all, so please be nice down below. All right, so I want to go over my story first and then I have some tips for y'all as far as how you can lose weight and how you can maintain that weight loss over a long period of time like I have. Now I'm gonna start by having a disclaimer saying that by no means am I a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a you know, workout, fitness instructor, anything like that. These are just the things that worked for me. I've been overweight my whole entire life. So these are the things that have worked for my body type. Everybody is different. Everybody's metabolism is different. So please take that into account. All right, so my story is, like I said, I've been overweight my entire life. I mean, since I was eight years old, I can remember having like a pooch in my one piece bathing suit um, and my family trying to like cut me back on certain things to try to help me lose weight because I was overweight as a child and growing up into my high school years and into my adult my young adulthood I was overweight I've been overweight my whole entire life so um what happened was is in January of 2009 my husband and I got married in 2006 now right after we got married we started trying for a baby I've always wanted a child in my life and I, that's a whole nother story I can go on in another video if y'all like to see that on our fertility story because I have a whole entire story and things I can tell you with our fertility journey I have two kids now beautiful two boys um, as most of y'all know but um, in 2009, we still weren't pregnant. I was trying everything. I was trying Clomid, all kinds of stuff from my gynecologist and it not happening. And my gynecologist looked at me straight in the face and he said, you know what, 
maybe you need to lose some weight. You know, losing weight might um, help you out. And at that time, guys, I was at my heaviest. I was at 225 to 230 pounds at that point in my life in 2009. And when he said that to me, it was just a wake up call. And I was coming to the realization that I might not have a baby and it might be because of my being overweight. So my first thing that I wanna tell you guys is make sure that you're doing this for you. If you're trying to lose weight, if you wanna go on a weight loss journey, it's gotta be for you and for nobody else. And for me, I had to have children in my life. So yes, that was a goal for something else, not necessarily for me, myself, but it was for me because I couldn't see my life without children. So if I didn't make a change in my body and in myself, I was gonna be devastated for the rest of my life. So I went ahead right then and there when he told me that and I started thinking, you know, you've got to do something. All my life, I did all the fads. I did the diet pills, the Phenermine, I did the Atkins diet, I starved myself. I mean, not to any point, you know, that it was dangerous, but I did every diet in the book, every fad, and none of it worked. Yes, diet pills will work. They will get you, you know, thinner, 20 or 30 pounds thinner, but as soon as you get off of them and you're going back into the same exact lifestyle, you gain all the weight plus some. At least that was the experience for me. So I was trying every quick fix in the book before I got that slap in the face from him about you need to change your lifestyle, you need to change your life. So January in 2009, I did the classic fad that everybody does. You know, as soon as the new year comes around, what does everybody do? We go and join a gym. We start going and buying all this diet food. We try to go on a diet. And two weeks after, you go back to your old ways, right? Well, not this time. So even though it was a fad for me to start at New Year's, I made a commitment that I was going to change my life for the better and I was going to lose the weight because at this point, like I said, I was 230 pounds trying to have a baby and I wanted to make a change. So what I did is, yes, I did join a gym and I did start, I didn't buy diet food. So the whole thing that I did was I changed my lifestyle, which I'm gonna get into the tips for you guys. But before I get into the tips, let me finish my story. So I started losing weight. It took about six months for me to see any dramatic results. I mean, I saw results in the first month, yes, but in the first six months, you could see a definite change. And some of the pictures that I included in the beginning were in the first six months. The one of me in Vegas, um, at the Hoover Dam, you can definitely tell that I wasn't at my thinnest there, but that was six months after I started making the change and losing weight from 230. So that was a big change. And then it took about mm, four months for me to lose and get to my goal weight. My goal weight was 150 and I'm currently, I fluctuate between 145 to 152. Sometimes, you know, you get up to 155, but I still watch my weight and it's still a struggle. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it is not a struggle, guys. Even after you lose the weight for years upon end, you still have to think about it and you still have to you know, worry about it and maintain it to keep it off. So now what I'm gonna do, guys, is I've had this weight off. I've been down 85 pounds about nine years now, so I've kept it off that time, and that includes having two boys in the process. So um, that scared me to death, having kids. I thought I was gonna gain all my weight back, and I definitely did not. I was very strict on myself with my diet with my kids, and I managed to only gain about 25 to 30 pounds with each of the boys, and it came off right after I had them. It was craziness. I did not think that my body type would react that way to pregnancy, but I'm very fortunate that it did. So now let me get into some of the tips and the things that worked for me on my weight loss journey. All right, so the tip number one, and I have my cheat sheet here so I don't forget to tell you any guys anything. So number one that I suggest is you have to want to lose the weight for you and no other reason. Like I said before, that is the main thing. My husband's actually in the process of trying to lose weight and I've told them that I would help him um, but he's just not there yet to wanting to go all the way and lose that weight. So you've got to make that commitment. You have to be headstrong. You have to focus. You have to have your mindset on doing it. And you have to think about it every second of the day. You can't slip up and eat a Twinkie. You can't go through the drive through You've got to be hardcore and you've got to set your mind to it and really commit to it if you want to lose the weight the right way and if you want to keep it off. But you have to do it for yourself. You can't do it because you want to look good for your husband. You can't do it because you want to look good for your coworkers. You have to do it for you. You want to look that way for you, you wanna be healthy, it's all have to be with you. Because if you try to do it for somebody else, you're never going to get to your goal all the way and you're never gonna keep it off. 
All right, tip number two that I have for you guys is it's going to be hard. I'm not saying this is gonna be easy at all. It was super hard for me and you're, I just told you that it took about a year to get to my goal weight. So it's not gonna be a fast fix and it's going to be hard. So putting the work in pays off. So what did I do to lose 85 pounds? So what was my secret? People that are close to me that know me my whole life asked me how, what was the secret, Nicole? How have you kept it off? You gotta tell me what it is. And they all expect for me to say diet pills or some type of fat and when they hear the truth they're like uh, never mind because I'm telling you guys it is work so when I joined that gym I started working out every single day yes I worked out Monday through Sunday now some days I might go in and just do weights some days I might go in and do a whole hour of cardio I joined classes at my gym so I recommend that you join a gym that has classes you want to find something that is fun for you if you hate working out you're never gonna go to that gym and you're gonna lose that gym membership and you're gonna waste your money and your time and you're not gonna get to your goal weight so you want to do something that you love I love to dance so when uh, that time and period Zumba was all the rage so I joined a Zumba class three days a week at my gym and I looked forward to going to my Zumba class and it also made me look forward to working out because I enjoyed how I felt. It let a lot of pressure and you know stress off my shoulders when I worked out. So it led to me loving working out things that I actually hated in the beginning, like a treadmill or a Stairmaster. So it actually helped me love other parts of working out. So start out with a class if you love to ride a bike, maybe some cycling class, yoga, Anything that you're interested in, start with that and do that multiple times. But I'm telling you right now, I had to work out every day in the beginning to get my muscle mass going, to jumpstart my metabolism, and that really got my body you know, waking up. It was like a, a flash, like my body was in shock because I'd never done anything like that before. And it was actually paying off and making the weight come off. And like I said, it's not gonna come off super quick, but you're actually training your body to be healthy. So. You want to really put in the work, guys. Don't stray from it. You might want to set your goal to be like three days a week instead of every day. I know that is extreme, but kind of work your way up because the more that you work out, the more that you're training your body to be healthy. All right, my tip number three is to totally change your lifestyle. This is going to be a lifestyle change for you. And like I said before, and I know I sound like a broken record, this is not going to be easy. So if you are one that you know eats fast food every single day, you got to cut that out of your lifestyle. You have got to start doing things that are better for you and better for your health, better for your family. Now, it was hard for me because my husband was not on board with eating the same things that I was. We live in the South, and yes, we live in Southern Louisiana, not far from New Orleans. We love our food down here, so it is super hard to be raised down here first off and be around all this wonderful, fattening, high calorie food. It really is a struggle, and I still have to struggle with that every day. But my hubby was not on board as far as going all the way with me because he wasn't ready to lose weight for himself. So what I did is I actually made the same exact meals that I still make to this day, but for me, I cut out my portions. So instead of eating on our big gigantic plate, I ate on the salad plates because that cut the portions in half and that really helped. So I was still not being deprived. I was eating the same foods that I loved, but I wasn't eating the high portions. I also cut out a lot of things in my lifestyle. So sodium, I started buying everything that said, you know, low sodium, really looked at the packaging on different foods to make sure that the content of it was really low in sodium because sodium keeps for women anyway and for myself, for my body type, that keeps the water retention on me and keeps extra pounds that I don't want on and makes you feel sluggish. So sodium, I really cut out of our diet at the time. I also eliminated high sugar foods. So I was big and I still drink them to this day as far as soda goes. So I cut out all soda and drank strictly just water and water, 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 drink more water. But you have to you know, eliminate things that are really putting on those calories and storing that fat. So sugar, I you know, made sure that I had low sugar or no sugar at all. And then carbs for me, carbs is my Achilles heel. I love eating bread. If you watch my Dollar Tree hauls, y'all know I love me some bread. So I had to cut out bread. So even when we went to a restaurant, ordered a salad and they had croutons on it, I picked the croutons off and just ate the salad. So 
whatever works for your body type and for you, the things that you know that are not good for your body type, which I knew those three things were putting on the pounds for me, eliminate those. So another thing that I wanted to mention also with that lifestyle change, like I said, I was still making the same meals that I always made. I just made little changes. So instead of using ground meat, I subbed ground turkey instead, which is healthier for you. Instead of eating tater tots or regular french fries, I subbed for sweet potato fries. So my husband was okay with that and that was helping me along as well, try to stay to my goals and making me healthier. All right, tip number four that I have for y'all is drink water, 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 water. Drink it like it's going out of style and eat. I know a lot of people tell you not to eat, but that is the wrong thing to do. You want to kick your metabolism off first thing in the morning. You wanna eat small portions, small little meals throughout the day to keep your metabolism going and to make sure that you're burning those calories. So this is what I would do as far as, everybody always asks me what I ate when I was losing weight. So for breakfast, I would start off the morning with either a smoothie and that would be it, or I would have like a hard boiled egg and maybe a glass of juice. Um, I wasn't drinking coffee at the time or anything that was high calorie in the morning. And then around 10 o'clock, I would eat some type of fruit. So I'd eat an apple, maybe an apple and some peanut butter to try to keep that metabolism going and make me not starving by lunchtime. Lunchtime, I religiously ate a peanut butter and jelly with natural peanut butter and sugar-free jelly. I know that sounds gross, but that was my jam when I was on my diet. I looked forward to that every day on whole wheat bread. And I had a cheese stick and maybe some type of Greek yogurt. So that was my lunch every single day. And if it gets boring to y'all, y'all have to switch it up so you don't steer off track. But that's what I had every single day. Afternoon snack would be some type of like almonds or nuts or another cheese stick. You have to eat, guys. If you don't eat those snacks, you're gonna be starving by lunch and dinner and you're gonna overeat and, overeat and you're gonna blow your diet. Dinner was regular dinner, like I said, but on a smaller plate. All right, so another tip that I have for y'all is to reward yourself throughout your weight loss journey. So I know a lot of people say, okay, I weigh 230. When I weigh 150, I'm gonna go buy a whole new wardrobe. And in the meantime, you're not enjoying yourself. You're not treating yourself. So I did do that. So as soon as I got to like a goal of losing 10 pounds and my jeans were too big for me, I went out and bought another pair of jeans. Now, did I go pay a ton of money for the clothes I was buying? No but I bought some stuff to make me feel good in my transforming body and I was treating myself and it was making me have the inspiration to want to keep going and to want to continue on that journey. If you're still looking at your old past, your old clothes, and I'm putting those old clothes on, that's going to be depressing and that's not going to make me want to continue to move on. So I did treat myself and I did buy things that fit my new body as I was going. Like I said, I didn't go overboard, just bought a couple of pieces that way it would make me feel good and keep me on track in my weight loss journey. So another tip that I have, and I know a lot of people like do not like this tip at all and say it's the worst tip ever, is to weigh yourself every single day. So I know a lot of people say don't do that because it's going to be depressing, it's going to make you want to go and binge eat and not want to continue on your weight loss goals. For me, that kept me on track. So like if I weighed every day, if I weighed today on Monday and then tomorrow and Tuesday I lost a pound, that made me want to hit that gym hard and really put in the work. Or it really made me want to continue to eat healthier so the next day I might see a pound come off. Now there were some days, and I'll, I'll be honest, that nothing came off, but that's okay. If I just maintained and I didn't gain any weight, that was showing me that I was going in the right direction. So weighing yourself every single day will keep you on on track. So if you do have a cheat day guys and you see that you have gained two pounds, it's just two pounds. Don't you know cry over it. Get back in that gym, get back to eating right the next day and that two pounds will come off. If you weigh every day you will see it come back off and you'll get back on track and on your goals. So for me weighing myself every day was a must because it just reminded me every day why I was doing what I was doing and seeing that the work was paying off. Another tip that I have is to make sure that you are counting your calories with some type of calorie app. That really helped me stay on track as well, not only weighing myself, but when I was plugging in everything that I was eating and I had my target calories and if I went below it or I met it and I didn't go over it, that also visually made me happy and said, hey, you know, you did good, you didn't go over your calorie mark, you're in track and you're in the right direction. So I debt all of them are great guys. Just download, download one that you like and plug everything in. I know it's going to seem tedious, but it will pay off in the long run and it will make you stay on track. So I've been asked this question as well of some of y'all have went through a weight loss journey as well. Some of my close friends here on YouTube and have said, 
hey, do you still see yourself in the mirror as 230 pounds? And it's been almost 10 years since I've lost the 85 pounds. And yes, sometimes I am still insecure in this body, even though it is my new brand new body that I have grown to love in the past 10 years. I'm still insecure myself. So there's still parts of my body and that's with everybody. We all have self image issues. Um, some people might look at you and say, you're perfect, but then you look in the mirror and you're like, this is horrible, I wish I could change it. So I'm not gonna tell you that when you lose 100 pounds that you're going to be totally happy. You're probably not going to be because you're still gonna have a hard time adjusting to seeing the new person that you see in the mirror and that's okay. So it's gonna take time to adjust and see yourself as your 100 pound lighter self but you'll grow to love your new body and you'll grow to love yourself inside and it's not so much what the outside appearance looks like. So I'm not gonna sit here and lie to y'all and tell me that sometimes I don't feel self-conscious about myself still, cause I do. And if you watch my Stitch Fix videos and stuff like that, y'all know that because there's some clothing that y'all say looks awesome on me and then I think that I need a bigger size still, even though I kind of know I don't, but I'm still self-conscious in that um, area. So what I'm saying is it's gonna take time to get to know your new body and to not see that old person in the mirror that you've been accustomed to the whole time, but you will love yourself in the long run. All right guys, so that is all the tips that I have in my weight loss journey. So many of y'all have been asking me, y'all did not know that I struggled with weight for so long in my life and that I was my heaviest at 230 pounds and I've kept it off for 10 years. I've had two boys in the process. I still, if you watch my Foodie Fridays, y'all know I love good Southern and you know high calorie um, comfort food, but we eat in small portions. I don't snack and indulge. I used to sit on a couch and eat probably like a whole bag of potato chips and dip and candy bars and then eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner and more snacks. I've just really come accustomed to having a different lifestyle, you know, eating snacks that are healthier for me making wise decisions and constantly staying on it so I can keep and maintain this body that I love so much and know that I'm healthy for not only myself, but for my husband and now my kids. And that hopefully that will prolong my life and make me healthy for everybody that I love in my family. And you know, it wasn't so much a beauty thing for me for 230 pounds, it was a getting healthier thing and wanting to start a family and wanting to be here on earth longer than I knew I was gonna be if I kept on that track. So guys, I hope that this video was helpful. I hope that you were able to get a couple of pointers from this. I hope that it was inspirational for you. That's exactly why I'm making this. No other reason, just to inspire you to you know, make that change, look in the mirror one step each day, take it one day at a time, You know, really make that decision and really go gung-ho with it and be committed. It takes a lot of dedication to lose 85 pounds plus I'm not gonna lie and say that it doesn't. And like I said, it wasn't easy at all, but the little tips that I gave you definitely helped throughout the way and made it easier in the long run. And I'm so glad I made that decision. And I'm so glad my gynecologist looked me in the face and kind of made me wake up. So you might just need somebody to do that for you. Maybe it's me today telling you that you need to wake up, look in the mirror, get yourself healthy, do it for you, make a decision today and get yourself on the right direction. So guys, I love you guys so much. I hope this was helpful, like I said, and inspirational. I'm not trying to brag or anything. I know a lot of y'all have asked me about my weight loss journey. How did I do it? What were some tips um, on how to do that? So I wanted to share that with you guys and hope that it would inspire and be hopeful for somebody else out there. So guys, please give this video a thumbs up if it was inspirational or it was helpful for you. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I don't do videos like this often, but I do a lot of other videos as far as saving you money um, and stuff like that. So if you're not with me and you want to check out some of my other videos, I'd love to have you a part of my YouTube family. And until the next video, guys, I love you guys so much. And I know it is beach season and bikini season. So hopefully this might get you in the right track um, for that as well, because I know that can be super stressful for a lot of us ladies as well. Love you guys so much. Y'all take care. Bye.